I was always struck by when I, whenever I saw his portraits was the degree to which they challenged our conventional views of power and privilege. Um, and the way that he would take extraordinary care and precision and vision in recognizing the beauty and the grace and the dignity of people who are so often invisible in our lives. That uh, was something that moved me deeply because in my small way that's part of what uh, I believe politics should be about, is not simply celebrating the high and the mighty and uh, expecting that the country unfolds from the top down, but rather that it comes from the bottom up. His initial impulse maybe in the work was to also elevate me and put me in these settings with you know, partridges and scepters and thrones and shifferobes and uh, <laughs> mounting me on horses. <laughs> And I had to explain that I've got enough political problems without <laughs> you making me look like Napoleon. We've got to bring it down just a touch. have guessed, I don't think there is anybody in my family who has ever had a portrait done, let alone a portrait that will be hanging in the National Gallery, at least as far as I know, Mom. I'm also thinking about all of the young people, uh, particularly girls and girls of color, who in years ahead will come to this place and they will look up and they will see an image of someone who looks like them hanging on the wall of this great American institution. I know the kind of impact that will have on their lives because I was one of those girls. And when I think about those future generations and generations past, I think again, wow, wow. What an incredible journey we are on together in this country. Amy, I wanna thank you for so spectacularly capturing the grace and beauty and intelligence and charm and hotness <laughs> of the woman that I love. This is our humanity. This is our ability to say I matter. I was here. Uh, the ability to be the first African-American painter, to paint the first African-American president of the United States is absolutely overwhelming. She fits into what the, my, my narrative, the, the painting black people in a way where they are just being, that we're not always in a, a reactive kind of space. Um, and so growing up, I was inspired by American realists, so painters like Bill Bartlett and Andrew Wyeth, and I think that that, um, that part of the art narrative is kind of missing, those kind of images of, of black people are missing within the American art historical narrative.